Hello and welcome to our series on being brilliant at the basics. My name is Tommy Heffernan, I'm a vet based in Wicklow and today we're going to talk about calf nutrition. So we've got the calf on the ground, the next thing we need to focus on is calf nutrition, feeding the calf. And there's three key components. There's milk, whether it be whole milk or milk replacer, it must be done with consistent volumes and time. Don't spare milk on calves. Water is the next thing. It's a very important role in rumen development and should be available almost from birth. The third thing is concentrates. These will help wean the calf earlier and they'll help rumen development. Also, if you're feeding a pellet ration, it's important to provide some fiber in the calf's diet. My opinion on feeding calves and my experience in feeding calves is they do better on larger volumes of milk. So I would be an advocate for three liters twice a day. And there is the option to feed milk replacer. One of the most important things when looking and dealing with milk replacer is looking at the constituents of the milk replacer and also following the instructions that are on the bag as carefully and consistently as you possibly can. Measuring the correct volumes, doing it hygienically, mixing the right volumes of water and feeding at the same time every day. The reason we don't use waste milk on calves is the waste milk usually contains antibiotics and we do not want to feed healthy calves milk with antibiotics in it. It's neither good for their immune systems or the resistance of the bugs on the farms to those antibiotics in the future. We're back at basics again and being brilliant to the basics and hygiene is really important when we're feeding calves. It's very much about checking equipment is working, teeth ends are clean, cleaning equipment both inside and out. We don't want to spread infection between batches. A really good time to look at calf health is when they're feeding. Making sure each calf is feeding correctly, sucking and taking its full feed. One other very important thing we can do in a young calf is actually using our finger to check the suck reflex. It can be a very good determining factor on how healthy our calves are. The stronger the suck, the healthier the calf. Fresh water plays a huge role in rehydrating, health, immunity and in the rumen. Fresh, clean, available water is essential. Another really important area when we talk about calf nutrition is the feeding of concentrates. We recommend their introduction from three to four days of age, that there's plenty available concentrates or access to feed and at the right height. Brilliant at the basics, it's just that. Concentrate on the simple things that have the most impact on your farm. 